We've played 18 and a half minutes. And Callum Elder, arm goes up from him. In comes the cross. It's inviting! And it's in the back of the net! Malik Wilkes! You knew he was going to score today. 16 goals for Doncaster and 16 this season for the Tigers. Equals the tally he got under Grant McCann at Doncaster. And he's done it in his former backyard. Doncaster nil, Hull City won. Oh, this goal comes from the quality of, re of uh, Callum Elder's delivery. What a great cross into the box there. I don't think Malik Wilkes knows too much about it. He goes with his head. I think it comes off his face and just nestles in that bottom corner. Malik Wilkes gets his head onto a big diagonal play from the Tigers. Doherty in the centre of Doncaster's half, wrestles off Gomez and fires it out wide towards Keane Lewis Potter. On the left hand side, Doncaster shuffling back. Keane Lewis Potter with two men around him. Halliday leading the defensive pressure. Lovely ball in for Malik Wilkes! Another header, another goal! Malik Wilkes in amongst it again. Beautifully done. Hull City enjoying this spell and are being gluttonous in front of goal. It's fantastic for Wilkes, it's fantastic for Hull City, and it's disarray for Doncaster. They're two down in their own backyard. Oh, it's a great header from Malik Wilkes, getting in between the defenders there to finish that off in the bottom corner. Initially, brilliant play down the left-hand side. Greg Doherty, Keen Lewis Potter at the heart of it. Comes to Doherty, one thing in his mind, brilliant ball. You know, just guiding it away from that back four of Doncaster's, giving Malik Wilkes the opportunity to get in between, and he finishes it off. He needs to be at his best again, as Hull City have another corner to defend. There's been a few in this uh, first half, and it is swung in towards the back post. Over Omar Bogle, and what a chance that was, cleared away off the line. And I think it was Richards, Richards or Bogle, might have been Bogle, it was Bogle. He had the chance at the back post, heading down, cleared away by the Tigers. Whew, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Doncaster getting closer. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? Omar Bogle, I think he got round the back of Callum Elder, I think it was. Josh McGuinness on the line, no clear in his lines. Richards, edge of the box, right side, looking to move it centrally. Honeyman not giving him the angle to shoot. Reese James has found one, though. He's blasted it in from the edge of the box. Doncaster have one goal back. That might just give them the confidence they need. Reese James with a fantastic effort. He just drills it past Ingram to his left hand side. Doncaster half the deficit. An explosive first half. And it's game on again. Doncaster one, Hull City two. It is game on again, and it's a fantastic finish from Reese James, the fullback. You know, he just came onto it late, didn't he? They worked it across the pitch. Like I said, they've been probing these last couple of minutes, one off the line. This time, though, no. James makes no mistake, just drills it into the bottom corner of Ingram's goal. Honeyman again from a corner into the six yard box. Greaves! There it is, he's done it! Jacob Greaves has finally done it! Hull City go 3 1 up. The smile on his face is humongous. He's congratulated by nearly everyone outfield. Honeyman is jogging across. He has got another assist to his name. And after all the waiting, Greaves scores. Doncaster 1, Hull City 3. Oh, I'm so happy for Jacob Greaves. Getting, he's got on the end of many this season. But this time, this one goes into the back of the net. I don't think he knew too much about it. I think it comes off his shoulder at the end of it. You know, he goes with his head, but it wasn't the most convincing of headers. But who cares? It goes in the back of the net. Just said prior, haven't we? We look dangerous off set pieces. We've scored one. Now we've added a second. The back three of Hull City almost on the tiptoes of the back four at the moment of their defence. Halliday moves it towards the edge of the box with Taylor, gets a little shove from Elder. Good competitive action this. Richards, edge of the box, plays it through for Sims and a penalty is given this time. Sims shoved over. Doncaster now have that invitation to make this game oh so interesting. There's a few appeals to the linesman from Hull City's defence. I don't think they could have had too many complaints that time. Penalty for the home team. A couple of moments in the first half, very much unlike Matt Ingram, but now he has the opportunity to make his 
say of major importance as Omar Bogle stands over this and will hit this left footed. It's a short run up from Bogle. He sent Ingram the wrong way. Game on again at the Keepmoat Stadium. Doncaster two, Hull City three. Ingram boots the ball away and catches Omar Bogle. But uh, with a little bit of a limp, he heads back to halfway. It's 3-2 with 22 minutes to go. And that sub will finally take place. White for McGuinness. Yeah, well, I said the next goal's going to be critical, didn't I? And unfortunately for us, Doncaster have got it. Has Ingram got his wall right? It is Bostock who's going to leave this for Coppinger. It's over the wall. It's in! Doncaster Rovers have equalised in stoppage time and James Coppinger, the veteran, the man who has made this game happen for Doncaster in gold, has a golden moment for Doncaster Rovers and it is Doncaster 3, Hull City 3. Oh, I fear for the worst as soon as that free kick was awarded there, central area. Two or three yards outside our box. Coppinger, so experienced, such a good finisher. Lining it up, and he doesn't disappoint. He puts it over the wall and into Matt Ingram's top corner. 